Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to install Apache on EC2 with user data and cloud formation. Let me just log on to the portal and take it from there. User data is the data passed to the instance at a launch time. So what it does is this data performs configuration task. It can run scripts and commands when an instance is started. We will pass a shell script that updates the EC2 instance, installs and starts Apache. Lastly, we will use the check config command to ensure that the Apache server is started whenever the instance start. User data is described in the user data property of the EC2 instance. We will use the intrinsic functions of AWS CloudFormation that returns the base64 representation of an input string to pass our data. So I'll go to the cloud formation. This is the previous stack that we did to create to provision an EC2 instance. We will also use the exclamation sub instancing function which substitutes the variables in an input string with the values you specify. So uh, I'll change the existing template and then I'll come back. Created this new template EC2 Apache and uh, in the YAML file, same till here. This is the sub instrinsic function update, service starts, and then the key values. Let me log on to the portal and then create a new stack for it. I am on to the portal. I'll click on create stack. My template is ready. I will upload a template file. My template file is uploading. I click on next. There are no parameters, stack name EC2 Apache. I click on next. I leave options that is this. I click on next. I review my stack here. Then I click on create a stack. It is in progress. I'll come back when this is completed. Thank you. It is completed. Let me refresh it. Done. Now if I'll go to my EC2, it has successfully created the second EC2 instance. In the previous we created an instance without anything installed. We will have to navigate to the EC2 instance. It has two running instances. Running. I should have changed the name. Amazon AMI High Availability. AM so this is the public DNS if I try to access it via browser because I have installed Apache on it let me see if I it takes me to that screen or not we got the uh, connection timeout error because we, we do not have any security group associated with our uh, EC2 instance. If you would have a look at it, it says all and no fault. Inbound request to all. Outbound all traffic. In the next video, we will see how to create the security groups with the cloud formation till next time have a great day and do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have any feedback mention in the comment section thank you have a great day